So you guys can see now my exchange is zero. Um, I'm gonna transfer USDT to this account. I'm transferring 20,000 ringgit to my hobby. So let, let's go. Okay, hobby already, I already gotten the deposit, 20,000 ringgit. Boom. So I got hit 20,090 ringgit and 37 cents. Let's go to Royal Q. Then API binding again. I'll show you guys already buying to hobby. Okay, let's go to quantitative bottom second button. Then swipe to hobby. There is Coinbase Pro as well, but we're gonna go for hobby since already buying to hobby, right? So just type in XRP. This is the coin that I really uh, how to say comfortable trading with. And let's go to setting trade setting. Let's go for the first number one which is first buy in amount which is hundred dollars is it reasonable for malaysians every drop of one percent 400 ringgit investment if you have twenty thousand ringgit on the other side sounds reasonable so hundred dollars first buy in for one coin guys 40 margin calls yep and then 1.3 percent here we're going to change to 1.1 0 0.1 is the whole position take profit callback if it drops to 0 0.1 then margin call figuration here is two to one you can see there's a 40 margin call drop right and you guys can see here all the way down that I'm currently using from first call all the way down to 40, 40th call that it does every 2% drop, it buys it one time. Is it safe? Yes, I think so. XRP just now, it was from 93, 91 cents today to 83 cents. That is like a lot. That's like 8%, guys. So 8% divided by 2%, which is right now you guys can see, that is four times. They will buy so they will go for a fourth margin call at sometimes in between it's a bit like a fluctuation that's considered another margin call so at times you will see there's a fifth margin call or even six margin call they will do a purchase so if you have one to one ratio yes you do have a higher chance of selling it out but having it by two percent drop it's like if you guys don't have that much of capital two percent is good enough but Let's before that let's go see other tokens before this the binance so let's see here trade settings this one is the suggested trade settings guys which is ten dollars first buy in margin call is only four whole position is uh, take profit when it hits one point three then whole position take profit callback is zero point one meaning when it hits one point three percent it drops zero point one which is one point two now they consider that as your profit 1.2% which is quite good but let's say if it doesn't hit 1.2% it hits only 1.1 1 .1, then it drops and then they will go back to the margin call limit which is margin configuration if it drops 2.3% they will buy 2 times if it drops 3.4 it will buy 4 times if it drops 5.8 it will buy 8 times so for those who can actually purchase like 80 like this one is first buying $10 right margin configuration if you can afford eighty dollars every five point eight percent drop, like five point eight drop. The third margin call is five point eight percent. Then eight times will buy eighty dollars. Let's say if you put hundred dollars first buy in, it will be eight hundred dollars, guys, which is freaking expensive for just a five point eight percent drop. So in, you know, cryptocurrency is very volatile. So that's why we advise you guys. Uh, what is your minimum first buy in amount that you can actually spend? Uh, for this one, it's suggested ten dollars for one coin so that's why they ask you to play with a lot of coins and the problem with that is, is that you're gonna have floating guys floating is that this percentage you can, you can see in Binance is negative 9.4 percent negative 42.47 meaning that it already touched this coin which I already deactivated my Binance you guys can see the losses here for BTC SD over USDT here negative 42.47 meaning if I were to let this robot trade in coins that I don't know it will float because the margin call here guys let's see it's 13 margin call limit 1.2 percent zero point this is actually from jd winner if i'm not mistaken you can see here every 0 0.17 percent there's only one percent buy in one time buy in 0 0.5 one time buy in then it keeps on dropping so this guy only play for me for like 13 levels drop and you have to add on like 0 0.7 0 0.5 0 0.25 here every percent of drop it will buy one percent one percent this is his strategy as you guys can see, there is number of times that's not much, only one. So his margin call is considered to be safe because I was playing 2% to 1. He's playing 0 0.1, 0 0.7, 1. Then if he hits 1.2%, then drops 0 0.1, sell off. 
So his profit is actually 1.1% here. Where do I look? The percentage is 1.2% here. Then minus 0 0.1 here. Then you get 1.1%, right? You take profit. So the, the tax cell said whole position take profit ratio 1.2, which is in blue color. And then after that, it drops to 0 0.1, sell off. So you guys can see here, the number of magical for this one for Binance that day I did was 11 times, which is about to go down to that long, to that 11 call, but he's giving me only 13 times. So let's say if we were to go down even lower than this percentage, 4%, even lower and lower, it crashes, which is currently right now. You guys can see the return rate is negative 42.47%. So JD winner can trade for me, but by the time the margin call already more than 13 times, which is he's giving me 13 time margin call, this floating will occur regardless. And then this is why people keep on like freaking out. And then people say like, oh, I need to like um, buy more. They see the buy button there. One shot, sell and buy. Yeah, he would like the only way for you to fix the negative floating is to buy more, which is buying the dip. So this one will create leveraging. It means that you use a lot more money. So for those who have capital like, you know, like 20,000 ringgit and whatnot, which I already explained in my previous video, if you guys trust that this coin that you favorite the most can actually perform 1% up, 10% up, sell off, then buy back every 2%. It basically, you know what you're doing. So you know what, how to utilize this robot rather than not knowing what is going on. What is, why is it floating? Blah, blah, blah. So that is why when XRP right now, you just can see current price 85, 85 cents, which is 85%. You guys buying 85%, 85 cents. Then if it goes to 90 cents, which is 90%, it goes to 5% increase. So when you drop 2%, it buys in twice and with $100, $100. Okay, that's all I have to say. I hope really you understand this. And right now I'm gonna show you guys in live demonstration, what if tomorrow we go to 90%, what is gonna to happen to my profit? What if it goes down to 80 cents? What is gonna to happen to my profit? So I'm gonna show you guys the fluctuations of profit of having a robot, the benefit of having a robot in trading for you of the 1.1% ratio. And these settings is like, I'm gonna to change to 1.1 here. Every time it goes to 1.1%, it drops 0 0.1, I get a 1% profit. But when it goes 2% drop, it buys once. How many times? They use $100. Every time it drops 2%, $100. How do you think you guys understand what I'm doing? So the buying callback here, guys. I've been playing around with buying callback a lot lately. And buying callback is, let's say, last time for my brothers, I put 0.1%. What's going to happen is, when it goes to 1.1%, it drops to 0 0.1. After that, it goes even lower, 0.1%. It automatically buy in. Okay, this is very, very sh short distance. This is where whenever it sells, it buys back like that. Like for example, it goes to $1, $1, uh, $1, one cent. Then it goes a bit down 0 0.1, which is a fraction of the $1, $0.01 about to go to $1, they buy in back the price at which they sold. So it's like, it's a never ending buy and sell, buy and sell profit kind of way. So it's kind of like dangerous from here. So that's why I think closest to 2% is 1.99. Okay, 1.99 is very, very deep for but buy, buy in callback. So let's say it goes to like um, 1.90 actually, that's the best. Because the whole position to perfect the whole position take profit callback is 0.1, okay? So if you plus together 1.9 to 0.1 is 2%. So I do have telling the robot is making it 2%. So I think that's much safer compared to a 0.1% buying callback, which I don't want them to go all the way up to 91 cents and buying that $100 and keep on buying the dip like that, which is crazy. So, okay. I'm going to show you guys what's going to happen if you were to buy in first $100, right? Let's say if you have $10 for this, okay? Uh, this is much safer for me and safer for you guys. What's going to happen? Let's say if you were to have first buy in for one coin, $10, 40 margin calls, which is kind of deep to be honest. So let's see, okay? Let's see by tomorrow what's going to happen. How many profit I'll be making. So here again, 40 times, whole position take profit ratio is 
Her position take profit callback 0 0.1. Margin configuration is 2 to 1, which is safe. And buying callback is 1.9%. Distributed take profit callback is 1.1% because I'm following the 1.1 at the top. And sub position take profit callback is 0 0.1. So this one is a bit uh, not really understood even by me. I don't understand why sub position take profit callback is needed. You guys can see that here is distributed and take profit. Somebody got explained to me what the hell is this. But I've seen many people having this uh, set up at 1.1 and 0.1 as similar to the whole position take profit ratio and whole position profit callback. So it's a similar amount if you guys are planning to do that. So let's go. $10 first buy in, 40 times margin call. Let's do it. It's safe. It's, it can go far. It can go down all the way down to 45 cents. So yeah, let's go. Press save. Okay, the first thing you need to do is make sure that this thing is uh, not one shot. You can, you can see the change here from cycle to one shot on the top left below the logo. It's now is that one shot, which I'm not, it's not the way. You need to go for cycles. And the strategy mode is sub bin mode real time settlement. Okay, that's that. So let's go for $10. Let's start. Boom. So what's going to happen is they're going to buy in the $10. As soon as they buy in, they will have a notification here at the top left. Yep. That's the first buy in. And you guys can see on the top left there is position amount is USDT is $10 because we're playing with $10. And position of XRP is 12.09. Okay. Let's go back to hobby. What's going to happen is you guys can see there's going to be XRP amount here very, very soon. Yep. There we go. 12.09 XRP has been bought for 43 ringgit 68 cents and this is how they're going to trade with my money and let's see let's see how far it can go all right so by tomorrow i'm going to update you guys the video this is part one for those who are newbies and part two will be tomorrow the same time which is right now it's two in the morning on uh, tuesday and wednesday two in the morning i will show you guys what's the profit like and if you guys don't believe me let's go to revenue details so today, the last trade I did was in 10th of December, 3.88. Now is 21st of December. So by 22nd December, by tomorrow, you will see how much profit I'll be getting for just having one coin. So this is one coin, guys, $10, okay? If you guys feel comfortable of doing these trading settings with 40 margin calls, first buy in $10 with this kind of percentage, 2% drop, 1% one time buy in. So this goes to show that you guys can maneuver which coin that you want and you know understand a better way of this royal cube. Alright. So I think that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and understand what I'm trying to say to you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.